What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? So you may have noticed recently I did a collaboration with a YouTuber known as I Did A Thing, in which he called me up and asked me to... to do a thing. A thing in this case was putting a machine gun on a robot dog. Of course, this was made a little bit more political than I would have liked, but we'll, we'll get to that later. In the meantime, enjoy us and William Osman doing a thing. Ah, oh, yeah, to match up with that one. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is some uh, Scott Work shit. We're usually like caveman, ooga booga, you know, <laughs> steel, throw rock very hard. <laughs> Robots are cool. It'll keep going. Yeah, it keeps well, firing. Do you have any ideas for how we can sort of stay as safe as possible in terms of, let's say, worst case scenario, a robot yeah. freaks out and spins. So and Skynet plugs into this fucking oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. And, okay, yeah. Yeah, it takes over. So I think the, the, the safest way to go about it is uh, we'll, we'll have some uh, separate magazines to where we'll have like one round loaded to test it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when that's fired, gun's clear, yep. essentially. So even if it freaks the fuck out and comes back on us, it's an unloaded gun. Yep. We have one safe. We have two remote controls, and one of them is the enabler, so you have to have it enabled yep. in order to fire, and so there's two separate systems, so it'll just completely cut power of the servo motor. Yeah, so we can kill it quickly. And oh. then we were thinking of doing like a hostage situation and seeing if the dog can come in, take out a specific target, not hit other targets in the room. Oh, that'd be dope. Do you guys get like a baby doll or something? Uh, we We've bought got... a bunch of targets. Yeah, okay. Which cardboard uh, cardboard. Oh, should be oh, here, right? that what? Brandon! It was us. Yeah, were those cardboard targets from them you were showing me? Yeah. What's up? The cardboard targets. That we were like, who the fuck sent these? Oh, is that what it was? That's, that's, that's ours. That's God ours. damn it. I was wondering, I'm like, who the fuck <laughs> sent this shit? Because we want to do a hostage situation, see if we could just shoot in between. So the it's kids. right over here, yeah. yeah. Oh, I man. was so fucking confused. <laughs> I was like, is this a sick fucking joke? <laughs> like, my guys were uh, were like, are you planning like a really <gasps> fucked up video? <sighs> what the fuck is Wait, that looks you? like, that's, that's like fucking mess. What's that show, like, fairly off parents? That's the point. It's kind of terrifying just to watch him booting up. So you don't know when he's going to jump up and strike. Oh, oh. Jesus. I'm not so worried about Skynet anymore. <laughs> Let's put a gun on it. <laughs> what could go wrong? Is that his battery? He shot his own battery. Yeah. He just kind of like tap danced into suicide. <laughs> now real quick, as you guys may have already noticed, today's video is sponsored by Warpath. It's a mobile real-time strategy game. In this game, you are the commander of the war. You can recruit officers, command diverse troops, conduct diplomatic negotiations, or participate in wars for territorial expansion on epic historical maps. Weapons arsenals also contain all of the well-known tanks, rifles, artillery, and fighter jets that you know and love. And now there's first-person shooter gameplay in Warpath 5.0 version, which means you're not just a commander, but can also be a sniper and shoot enemies. You can enjoy the excitement of aiming and shooting, and this will definitely improve your war strategy and make the war game experience all the more real. Don't forget that players can change tactics in real time according to the changes on the battlefield, making real-time adjustments to troops and weapon positioning. To become stronger, players can even cooperate strategically with their brothers in varying alliances to overcome the enemy's overwhelming odds. Warpath will even organize online tournaments and everyone can participate. The best part is the prize pool is up to $15,000. So go ahead and click the link down below, download Warpath, and join our brotherhood. Let's fight together, and don't forget to click the link for that $15,000 prize pool tournament. Thanks to Warpath, Back to the video. Uh, oh, he's, oh, he's actually tweaking. What the fuck's he doing? <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> Feel the power. Uh, I hate this. Yeah, I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a day to remember for one reason or the other. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't bring him back. If you tilt his head, can you go the other way? Oh, that's just the gun slipping. Yeah, the gun just falling sideways and he's the gun. actually on its side. So that way it's almost, yeah. uh, it's only like six inches higher. Oh, that's oh, fucking oh, joke! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy that's shit. That's fucking cool. This is <laughs> awesome. Okay, take it back. This is pretty fucking scary. Um, okay, no more, no more. Okay. It works. We don't have to test anymore. Uh, 
I mean, that works a lot better with that often. So why are you pulling your wheel? Because we don't have the remote. That's animal cruelty. Look how mad he looks at me. He's like trying to resist. He doesn't want to go. I feel like this is just using a regular MP5. <laughs> yeah. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Self-professed anti-gun YouTubers would hate being around these killing machines, right? But you'd be shocked how much attitudes change a little bit when you load up a couple magazines out at the ranch. Oh! oh fucking God! <laughs> fucking hell. Dude, you can see the shockwave on To the ground! Anybody else want to shoot it? Uh... Alright, so she's already on fire. She should be. See, I just tucked that pad into your shoulder. Pretty tight. Oh my fucking God! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's he doesn't care. Awesome. Two in a row. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that hurts your head. Yeah, <laughs> is it like is the gas just vert it back or does it just bounce back? Just yeah, it's a uh, direct blowback. So there's no lockup, there's no gas system, anything. Literally, they just use the weight of the bolt to slow down, so that the uh, cartridges don't just blow up. But uh, the uh, it's the back pressure from the round cycles the gun. The bolt's gonna hang up in the rear okay. and just send it forward. Uh, That's okay. when you start fire. How much is a kick? Not really very. Not much at all, really. Oh my oh, god, man. that's awesome! It did the whole thing dumped. Yeah? It didn't jam or anything. Wow, that's that's a four-leaf clover right there, because this thing is uh Yeah, she struggles. Wow. She struggles a lot. <laughs> you gonna make one of these? The, the famous piece of shit looting machine gun that got a guy into a whole lot of trouble. I don't know if it was worth it, but it's uh, done. Fuck yeah, that's pretty cool. Three, two, one. That's cool. <laughs> ah, that was Next so much fun. That <laughs> yeah, that looks sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. made my heart actually jump. I feel like I've kind of been reborn therapy. again. So they get <laughs> kidney stones to dissolve, they just shoot a 50 cal next to you and it breaks them up. Well, it's like being slapped in the face, wakes you up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Well, now that we got that out of the way, we'll go down to Walmart and get your uh, citizenship to America. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> He's got that gangster lean. That's pretty good. Dude, he looks excited to kill. <laughs> Alright, ready for that one? Firing, ready? Yep. Yes! yes! We nailed it! Yes! Oh, nice! Fuck yeah. Now, the MP5 ended up having a little bit of performance anxiety, so we had to switch to the vastly superior AK platform with the KP9. Not shooting one of the miners for this, right? No, we're not. I'm aiming for the adolescent and the old man. What? The adolescent? The man in the middle chewing gum. The man. The bad man. The bad man. The bad man who's selling drugs at the school playground. The bad man and the pedophile to the left. <laughs> Hey, come on, you know that man the looks like The bad man and the pedophile right next to the bad man. <laughs> oh no. That man's grandchildren do not go to this school. Alright, guns and semi. Gun is hot. Trigger's armed. Tell me when. Trigger disarmed. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. 
shit. Did you guys forget the siren? Oh, oh it fell over. dog fell over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, gun's empty. Yeah, yeah it, I you, think you just head popped him. You got him in the cheek. That, that, was, uh, that, that was, was a kill shot. Yeah. If that's what you were going for, you did a great job. I wasn't going job. for that, I was going for his bubble. I'm trying to pop this. Oh my god, Where did you, you learn? noggin pops. Why did you use a GoPro? Why did we use a GoPro? There's like a second of delay between what the camera sees and what you can see. Well, yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Gun is hot and unsafe. That is so cool. Horrifying. That is like a 12. Uh, especially since you're pointing directly at the same kid you shot the first time right now. They shoot? Wait, wait, tell, me, tell me a full auto or a semi? Full, full or? auto. Good full auto. Shoot. Whoa. Oh shit. my god. Shoot. Shit. He's running sideways. Oh, I think he fell over. Firing down. Yep. So you had how many more shots? About 20 was, rounds. That was 20 rounds. And you still only hit one. I hit one. Mm. What happens if we put one, one in? <laughs> I'll hit 120 as a target. Dude, if I was the government, I'd pay so much money for this. Go again. You get about one first before the dog falls over. <laughs> so now, time to talk about the elephant in the room. The anti-gun slant of Alex's video. For the record, I never knew this was the message that I did a thing was going to try to send with this video. And if you weren't aware, there was a pretty big anti-gun message in this video. Literally opening the video in front of the Uvalde School Memorial. But the part that sucks is, even if I knew that, I still would have agreed to collaborate. I had an amazing time out there with Alex, Alexa, William. I enjoyed the hell out of like the opportunity to just hang out and work together. Despite what people might think, I'm a free speech absolutist. No matter how much I might disagree with their opinion, I would never sabotage their right to be able to say what they believe. I just wish as fellow content creators, we could be open, honest, and respect each other. Because when you really think about it, we're all on the same mission. We're here to try to bring content, entertainment, laughs to our audience, and and try to make people's lives just a little bit better than it would have been without us. And that's something I think is worth doing. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed both videos. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Did you Dude. hit the berm once or was that a time? I was, was just pretty much shooting at the ground. I'm so right. fucking shit at this. Oh, did I get it? There no. You're gonna assassinate more dirt. There you go. <laughs>